Dynamite! So today I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, and this is not a game I expect there to be any LGBT background or presence or anything gay in it. However, there is a little bit of the homosexuality being teased out near the end. If you haven't uh, played through this game yet, I guess look away now, because there will be some spoilers. So early in the game, you're introduced to a character. His name's Ishvan Toth. You first meet him when Henry makes a fool out of himself trying to cut a stick, and for the life of him, cannot cut a stick. And something, to me at least, when I was playing it, seemed a little off about Ishvan. He kind of picks up the sword and he referenced some time when if you, oh yeah, if you had the sword, things would have went differently or something ominous like that. And he actually points the sword directly at your father and it's like kind of this uncomfortable moment that I just ignored until later in the game when, surprise, Ishvan is super evil, he tortures you a little bit. And while well, him and his right-hand man, and this is where the, the homo stuff comes in, Sir Eric, torture you a little bit. And you escape, whatever, that's the last thing you see of Ishvan, and then you're, he takes the castle of Tomberg, and you have to lay siege. No matter what you do, you have to lay siege. So you get into the siege quest line, and eventually you get Ishvan's right-hand man, Sir Eric, and he says something that hints that they might be a little closer than your regular right-hand man and noble guy. He uses his first name, and this kind of tips off little baby voice Divish that there might be something up there. Just how intimate are the two of you? So from then on, the nobles and Henry uh, point out this closeness, and they kind of tease him a little bit, and... Henry actually leads a questioning of Sir Eric, and he blatantly even says, are you guys lovers? Like, he actually uses that language, lovers. Could it be your lovers? And so you find out there is some closeness. The history is a bit muddled, so it, it could kind of be interpreted as this is some sort of deep brotherhood or deep friendship. And Eric even says at one point that... Ishvan killed his parents, and he and Ishvan was strong and took care of him. But that could be interpreted in many ways, taking care of someone. So the history is muddled. You don't get a lot from it. But at that point, the nobles and Henry decide, let's try to trade them. And then there's some sort of parlay between the nobles and Ishvan, saying, we've got your right-hand man. You give us the wife and our, our dude, and we'll give you Eric back. And during this exchange, Ishtwan gets very upset that they have Eric, and they threaten. he threatens to say, you know, don't hurt him, you will die if you hurt him, blah blah blah. And during the whole encounter, and Eric's encounter, the interesting thing too is neither one of them deny the allegations that are made of being homosexual. And the only thing, really, that Eric says is that you would never understand to Henry when he's getting questioned. And beyond that, it's not really explored much what the relationship is. Uh, eventually, you do defeat Ishvan. He runs away, whatever. He's a terrible person. So, uh, who knows if they really are gay, but it certainly is portrayed that way and heavily hinted. And there's also... Uh, something else outside of the game that points me to in this direction is that one of the co-founders of Warhorse Studios back in 2015, because I have been following this game for that long and actually longer sadly, but one of the co-creators has a tweet that in response to someone getting upset about there not being women in the game, saying yes there will be women and there will be gays, there will be all the gays and women. So maybe Ishtvan and Eric's relationship is confirmed by that tweet, so I, I can use that as evidence that yes, they're gay because they hinted at their being gay characters, or maybe their relationship is a result of that tweet. The co-creators kind of not wanting to eat crow on that one and to say, we said they're gay characters, here they are, uh, Ishtvan and Eric forever. So that's a little interesting tidbit from Kingdom Come. I thought it was exciting and interesting to see that little bit because I, like I said I didn't expect it at all 
Obviously, in medieval Bohemia, you're not going to have an out and proud gay character. Y you wouldn't want to say you're gay because then you'll die. Um, and no one wants to die. The alternative to dying can be seen embodied in the other token gay of Kingdom Come Deliverance, Lucas. You can meet him for the first time in the Needle in a Haystack quest, where if you dig long enough, you can find a book which will give their backgrounds in the back of the library, which outlines Lucas's sodomistic tendencies. But uh, I'm glad they included it. I thought it was interesting, and I hope it gets touched on in future DLC. I, however, do not speak for the entire LGBT community, and there were some backlash for Warhorse for this relationship, saying, you know, oh, you made the one gay or possibly gay character in the whole game the villain, and that's horrible, and your game sucks and you suck and you're bad and you should feel bad because you've made the character the villain. And I can relate to it a little bit. It is a bit of a trope to make the villain a uh, bad or bad guy, a homosexual, just for no reason, other than the two are linked. And this goes back to the very first gay character ever in video games or what's attributed to. She's just some angry lesbian girlfriend, right? So I understand where maybe the distaste or anger can come from, but it doesn't seem that that's what they were going for. I, like I said, I think maybe it's a result or um, because of that tweet, basically. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the gays of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, I really enjoyed the game. If for some reason you haven't already played it, I would highly recommend picking this game up. Uh, if not only for the slight gay stuff, for the amazing game. Overall, I'll give this game a gayness score of maybe, let's say, 3 out of 10. Not a lot of gay stuff going on, but the stuff that is going on is interesting and I think historically accurate, as is the rest of the game. If you want to see more of these types of videos about gays and games, be sure to like and subscribe and come back for future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.